Hey Brad. Yes. Will it sharpen series? Oh. You've got to be kidding me. Oh. Okay. I'm lost. I'm out in the woods, and I've got my pan. Oh my God! I wish the stories that this thing could tell. Uh, it's a really cool old pan. So will it sharpen? Let's. Uh, uh, I don't know. Pick an edge. If I hold the handle. Uh, I think I'm gonna sharpen, I don't know, right in here. And uh, so let's see, obviously, you know, skillets don't. <laughs> You're gonna sharpen a skillet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a frying pan. A frying pan. Yeah, so to speak, it's not a skillet. Okay, so let's. Uh, How sharp is your frying pan? Oh my, okay, then we'll have to fix it or somebody will cut their fingers on it. All right, I'm gonna try to hold this thing in a way and it is just a little on the greasy side. Uh, I'm gonna hold, try to hold this thing in such a way that I can actually run the V uh, like this, come back this way, go out that way. All right, I, I never advocate for moving the sharpener, uh, the V, over something like this because it really sticks and grabs and jumps. But I do know that the V is probably my best bet for making an edge. So let's not put quite as much pressure on it. Run it right down through there like this. And I see little shavings. And it's actually starting to get easier. So it's getting a bevel on the edge. And if I turn it up like this, you can actually see the shine. All right. So let's just run along like this. Will it sharpen series? I did a license plate. I did a credit card. I did a 45 uh, record. I did CDs. Um, spatulas, sunglasses. Spatulas, yeah, sunglasses. The back of a ruler. Yeah, the back of a, of a ruler. Okay, the back of the front probably makes no difference. I even showed you how to sharpen a leaf with a sharpener. And then I said, well, of course it won't. What the hell do you think? <laughs> All right, so that's, uh, oh, this is too funny. We're starting to get another line. Look look at how it's sharpening. It's out here and down there. Okay. So it, it's, uh, it's interesting what you find out, uh, you know, when you're doing things like this. All right, so do it this way. Well, I can tell you right now, this sharpener is going to be scratched and marred up. Uh, a lot more than it was, okay. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, it's tungsten carbide, it's made for milling and lathes. So obviously it'll cut metal. So then it's just a matter of, uh, you know, am I talented enough to cut it into a good knife edge to where it'll at least uh, dice garlic and maybe slice bacon just a little bit. Just like that. Okay, now I gotta work on the inside. So it'd be from about here to here. Okay. So, oh my gosh. That's really putting some metal in the pan. Uh oh. <gasps> what happened? I run my finger along it. Uh oh. That's not too bad. Still though, I just gotta be more careful. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time, you go back and look at my videos and I'll just about catch <laughs> you. This is the first time, that was almost a bad deal. Um, this is the first time I've ever cut myself while I'm sharpening. <laughs> and this is a little out of the ordinary. Uh, so, and honestly, how many times have you uh, sliced yourself on a frying pan? Not very many times. <laughs> All right, so I guess you might go, well, you damn fool, you deserve it. All right, so let's uh, do this. Thank God it wasn't any sharper, or I would have taken that finger right to the bone. This side is much easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. I'm not going to put so much pressure on it. I don't want it to bite so hard. See, and the only reason I cut myself is because I put a lot of pressure on it. With my sharpener, you don't put a lot of pressure on it when you sharpen knives, so you never slip off and cut yourself. And uh, so anyway, 
Um, just that little tidbit. <laughs> things I don't you're, do. The things going, that he doesn't do to me. You're going to the Blade Show this week in Atlanta. <laughs> so how'd you cut yourself, Brad? <laughs> Sharpening a skillet. <laughs> oh, my. All right. So let's see. You guys are going to look at the numbers on the uh, time. And... Uh, I have no idea. I guess we're looking at uh, four and a half to five minutes. All right, so let's see. Yep, that was just about a just about a bad deal. I've been cut before. All right, so let's see. <laughs> all right, this is. All right, let's see. All right, be serious. <laughs> and I don't want it to, to oop that tore. Well, it. it's actually oh, look at that amazing. It's actually cutting. Oop that tore. Let's do it one more time. And because uh, it's still it's really thick at the cutting edge, so we'll just go along here like that. I'll hold still so you can see for a minute that way. It actually needs to be tipped up further. Right now I have about a 15 degree bevel on there. 15 degrees is way too thick. 30 both sides. Now this time you'd have to wash out your pan before you cook something or you're going to be eating an awful lot of metal chips. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> it actually cut it. I don't even know how to hold the pan. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I can kind of feel it. I don't know if we're getting anything. Yeah, we're getting some. All right, let's do it. One more. It's actually sharper up here. One more time. Just like this. I'm rotating the sharpener this way, this way, this way, that way. Okay, Ruprecht. I think that was in a movie. Well, you can scrape the fat off the pig, Ryan. Okay, I think right in there. I can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's the goofiest thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, it, it's actually... Now, come in close. You can't hear it much. Now listen here. If that wasn't at least reasonably sharp, you wouldn't hear 
the uh, vibration on my skin. This is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. Will it sharpen? Of course it will. It's going to take a little bit longer. Maybe I'll, I'll do another series with my belt sander. And I'll see if I can actually make that surface pretty sharp so I can cut with it. This is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. You take care.